Hello and welcome my butterscotch flavored nanobots. It's SJB here and look at this! Intermediate! No! Advanced maps! With the alchemist? What? So when we look at this, we have to understand, can we do an elk start on any of these maps at all? And realistically, I don't think so, but there's one map that there's a possibility. This map's kind of fun because it's got a lot of walls, which luckily for us is not a weakness for alchemists so i was thinking can we do an elk play where we just kind of like throw them over here and pop round six and seven and maybe be able to use any hero we want because if we can't do that then we are forced to use very specific heroes like quincy azili or sada and to be honest with you i am not a big fan of that at all oh god this is actually kind of cool we got an elk to maybe beat round six here this is going to be very very tight but unbelievably we do we pop round six can we pop round seven if so we actually might be in order for a real chimps elk start but oh it's, wait <laughs> wow they're actually uh dying later on from the alchemy uh round seven is taken down well there must be some sort of monkey knowledge at play because i got almost the exact same positioning here and i did not need to target before and now I somehow can't pop even round six, so yeah, elk start unlikely to work. So what that leads us to is picking between three different heroes, the three heroes that you can actually start off the game with with the correct amount of money. That's Quincy, Azili, and Sada. Unfortunately, Sada is not going to be good on this map because the walls are all in the way. The only place that you can put her that's actually to do any damage is right here, and you cannot pop round six with that. So Azili also just freaking sucks, so she's not going to be the answer. So the question is, can Quincy pop round six, seven, eight? nine maybe get us started in here with a nice elk and see if we can make something crazy happen so i kind of like some of my positioning from before so we're gonna put this elk over here we're gonna put them on last because i'd like them to hit the strongest balloons and i think the last balloon should generally be the strongest while also being hopefully the least missing action going on in here and then uh that should be enough believe it or not this is actually a pretty decent combo this is our group popping power this is our cleanup and of course they can both kind of do a little bit of each other now this next tower is gonna be well guess what an alchemist but this time around we're gonna put them close to quincy all right i want to put them in the front here because they can still reach the balloons decently well but i want nice. to be able to buff quincy this is one reason why quincy might actually be the best alchemist combo here is because he can get buffed fairly easily and he can get buffed fairly strongly so even if we decide to go for something as crazy as a perma brew which i'm not saying we're gonna do it might actually get us through this game um as crazy as that is so here we go we got a level four quincy already things are going okay but clearly not okay enough i'm gonna try just a quick larger potions here i'd really like to save my quincy ability for around 15 so um i'm gonna do that for now uh looks okay that time around yeah sweet all right so larger potions that's all it took or a little bit of luck <laughs> sometimes luck is a factor even though it's not supposed to be a factor quick quincy ability here uh, a little early though dang so this is going to be a fight uphill every single every single second all right way better ability timing we take down around 15 now we move on to kind of keeping up keeping up with the kardashians here at this point um i would i think ideally like to just go for a berserker brew problem is can we get to a berserker brew before we end up dying here well i think 18 probably will kill us but 19 definitely could luckily i should have an ability ready to go here and uh, one other thing to keep in mind here is that, oh, that sucks. Come on, really? Try uh, swapping the this guy to last. I'm going to move this guy to first. We're going to see if that magically makes a smidge of a difference here. Um, all I need is smidges right now. Just smidges to keep me alive. One more round. Big group attack. There we go. Big, no, that sucked. It's a terrible attack, but way better than last time. All right, round 19. We've got our ability ready to go, so we're going to use it early. That's going to get us to Berserker Brew. That should power up Quincy. Oh, blah, 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 Red Balloon. All right, better ability this time. Now we got a, I don't want to say super powered Quincy, but a more powerful Quincy. It's always a good thing to have. Um, he does have camo detection. He's going to be able to get two uh, attacks soon, basically doubling his popping power. Uh, but at this point, our defense is is kind of weak. Uh, we're, like, really just barely hanging out at this point. Um, barely, barely hanging out at this point. Oh, we get a little lucky here. It took me four tries to beat round 21, but we do finally make it go down. Uh, looks like I need another base elk, though, to just keep myself in the game at this point. I need to snipe these last few, like, low-level balloons. It's not the end of the world to just know that the things are getting pretty rough. But, ooh! doubling our popping power having camo detection this feels like this might just be 
possible to get started. Quarter of the way through chimps already with elks only and a hero. Lead popping power. We are not relying on Quincy. We are relying on the alchemists. So not a big deal for us. Uh, we're able to take that down. And honestly, I think the best answer for us is to try to get Quincy going. So we're gonna we're gonna use our stronger stem here. Here's the unfortunate thing about the elks. They are designed to mostly be a support tower, even though they are a magic monkey. It doesn't really make much sense, but it is the way it is. But we can get a stronger stem here, and now Quincy should be even more powerful. And he got those double uh, arrows as well, so feels good. Oh, and we got exploding arrows too. Sweet. So if we hit the right blues at the right time, this could actually go pretty well. All right, Quincy. So we're going to have to start planning uh, what we want to do next. All right. And as far as elks go, we've got three options. Permabrew, Total Transformation, and Blue Master Alchemist. Are any of these three fifth tiers worthwhile to get? First of all, BMA. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I've done a chimps run with a BMA before, but generally it makes you lose money, and because it makes you lose money, it's a, kind of a struggle bussing kind of tower to get, but it might be the only way to pop round 98. You know, I mean, that's just such a beefy round. Like, can we pop it just by actually popping it instead of instantaneously killing everything on the screen? I don't know. Oh, crap. Already more issues, dude. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to go for another elk. No, no, no. Let's use this elk. And we're going to get him up to a stronger acid, perishing potions, and unstable concoction. And maybe... Oh, red balloon, die! <laughs> no! All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to buy one more elk. Uh, I don't love it, but I'm going to buy it. Elks don't buff elks, do they? I don't want him to buff this elk. Yeah, thank goodness. I was pretty pretty confident about that, but the, when you see this little thing above its head, it's like, that doesn't make much sense. All right, so maybe one more elk should make the difference. So we have, like, one red bloom stinking through. It is, indeed, exactly what we want. But we still have to go for that middle path upgrade. So we're going to go for a stronger acid, perishing potions, and unstable concoction. And it's all going to lead up to this tower right here, the transforming tonic. Now, if I cannot afford a transforming tonic before the Moab, I might be doomed. Okay, it might be a total and epic restart. Uh, trying to fight against the grain with Quincy again, and just sacrificing our stronger stim for a uh, 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 transforming tonic, basically. Um, the other option is maybe we can just pop them up. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe Quincy's just freaking beast. Uh, I don't know, with his uh, exploding arrows and everything, and all that good stuff here. I mean, just triple damage to both class balloons. That all sounds good. Oh, we're still leaking lives. And an interesting turn of events, round 39 seems to be extremely, extremely dangerous, and I'm not exactly sure why. Okay. So, let's try doing this. This might actually do a smidge of Moab damage as well, so it could not... It, it, maybe not the end of the world. And then I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build a stack of a couple uh, uh, walls in between Wall Maria here. And uh, see if we can... Uh, 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 maybe, just maybe sneak our way through round 39 without having to use this ability. I need it for round 40 100% of the time. But... Uh, if I need to try to use it, like, a little bit around 39 and then also around 40, I don't think it's gonna be possible, but maybe. Alright, it's going okay. Bloons getting near the back. We got some regens coming in here, a couple of blues. We snipe the blues. We get rid of the regens and we got some money. We got $2,830, not enough for transforming tonic. Let's watch this popping power. Uh, not horrible. That's 100, 150, and that's gonna pop the Moab. Will it be enough to pop all the bloons on the inside? Unbelievably, it will be! Ho ho ho! I was totally worried about that. But uh, we're not through the thick of it yet. We're through, oh gosh, we're through like one of the thick parts. And now we got to go through like 16 other thick parts. And I am not excited about it. All right, here we go. Transforming Tonic is up. That is going to change the game for us a lot. Because now we can actually do mega damage against big rushes. But to be honest, the answer for us, uh, uh, is is well first of all we have to think about camera detection quincy's our only camera detection right now that's not fun i didn't even think about that until right now and now i'm thinking that that might make this impossible and kind of upset about it all right camo purples we don't have quincy's ability but he takes him down he keeps him going so uh we're about to reach level 10 that will give us two abilities to work with that's nice but it's making me realize we have been focusing on uh Oh, gosh, look at this. Round 46. This is a tough round for Elks and for Quincy. Okay. Well, let's try to save Quincy's abilities, because we don't know when the big rushes of, of uh, camos are going to come in. So let's just use Elk plays when we need them. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for at least two of these guys. All right, we're going to go two transforming tonics. They're very, very strong. Like, unbelievably strong. They can kill almost anything, but you got to make sure you time them right, right? These abilities have to last exactly when you need them. Uh, but if we can make this happen, if we can use just two transforming tonics to survive for the entirety of the game here and save up for a magical $65,000 tower, then maybe we have a chance. Maybe. So we basically can have an activated ability like 80% of the time or so. And uh, it seemingly is going good enough. We'll have to see. I mean, I could go for three of them, and if I can get three of them, I kind of have them all the time. But, again, I would like to push myself to the limit at this point, because I think the only answer for us is going to be to get Quincy up to Permabrew, and I might even have to buy the $800 upgrade here just to survive round 51. Let's see what happens. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Gamma detection. All right, so $800 for Quincy. That's going to get us the uh, Storm of Arrows here, so... Uh, we need to survive until we get a Storm of Arrows, of course. I don't know if that's going to happen. That's a long cooldown. A surprisingly terribly long cooldown. Way longer than I thought it should be. And I didn't buy it in time on round 50, and that is terrible. And there goes our run. It was a good run, but it was not a good enough run. Round 51 is as far as we can get, because we did not unlock level 10 in time. Just because I'm feeling raunchy, and this is kind of my last real shot at this, I am going to do something a little wonky. I am going to go Oh, gosh, this is actually rougher than I thought. Wow, this is like my 11th try on round 49, and I just cannot seem to get it right for some reason. The regens keep killing me, but I have to use Quincy's ability as soon as I see them and hope that he can still manage to pop them all. This time around, he does. But then that leaves us with round 50. Having to use another elk play just to survive, it's kind of ridiculous at this point. But what I have to do is on round 50, I'm going to have to spend the $3,000 to get my level 10 upgrade so I can finally beat round 51, I think. Like, all this effort for, like, a maybe on round 51 just seems insane, but it is what it is. All right, so what we're going to do is... Oh, crap, Quincy, Quincy doesn't have his first ability yet. So we got to use the uh, uh, other ability here to start off. Hopefully, still get enough popping power for the rest of round 51. It's going to be tight. Come on, stop setting up ceramics. Oh, there's going to be two left. Can we snipe them? Oh, just a few leak. Okay, so that's not good. So we got to use our arrows here kind of late. Try to survive as long as we possibly can without using that ability. And maybe this will be enough. Oh, God, there's three left still. Holy crap. Well, this just straight up sucks. Straight up super sucks. What if I just use the ability kind of like right away here? Just get rid of some ceramics that was killing three of them. Eh, that doesn't seem like it's going to be enough, huh? Bounce, baby, bounce! Never miss! Probably my best run yet, and if this one doesn't work, I don't think we can beat it. We got our last two ceramics here, and there's going to be two beef-tastic. Oh, at this point, we have exhausted all of our real chances of beating, beating Chimps Mode with a hero and with our alchemists. So we need to give ourselves some extra cash to start off the game because we need a hero that can give us either camo detection or some other crazy bonuses that we don't have otherwise. And that leaves us with two possible options. Etienne for full camo detection across the board or Geraldo for the minor little baby bit of camo detection, but also a lot more of everything else. Geraldo has a pretty tiny range and he costs $810. So if we just do a regular Geraldo start, there's no way we could pop round six. We're just not powerful enough. So we need to give ourselves even more money than that. If we do a Geraldo start with one, <clears throat> $1,080, we can get a crossbow and a Geraldo. And we're going to hope that this can get us through the beginning part of the... Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. I actually wonder if leaving him on first will be a better chase situation for us. It's just kind of not usually the way I like to play the game, but seemingly is going pretty well, actually. I'll, I'll accept it. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, you know what we can actually do? We can actually use road spikes here to survive. So, you know what? I'm going to do that. We can get another crossbow. And then once we get our second crossbow, things should start to get a smidge better. As far as positioning goes, though, this is the unfortunate thing. We can't see through walls still. There's really not a good spot for these things. It's really like the front of the map here. 
that's got to be our main location for these things until we can get our elks going. In 24, we need to give somebody cam detection, and that somebody's just going to have to be Geraldo. Uh, don't forget that when you give Geraldo his cam detection potion, it's not just going to give Geraldo himself cam detection, but all of his assets. So, uh, the crossbows here. Um, in addition, if you ever get the uh, fire guys or whatever, they will also get those bonuses. Unfortunately, we are already struggle lugging against the balloons again. Uh, well, you know, we're kind of hanging on here. The also good news here is I actually do have lead popping power with my uh, uh, elks. So I'm going to throw an elk down in the front, put him on strong, let him melt through some of the stronger balloons in here and actually get a little bit of damage out of him. And then unfortunately, again, the big issue for me right now is just these crossbows. I don't know where the heck to put them. Uh, like this is just like this can't be good positioning on these things. Like it just, it just can't. Uh, it, uh, maybe. I mean, I uh, can I see through, like, just enough here to make this worthwhile? Is a good deal. Ooh, you know what? I'll accept it. Not horrific, at the very least. But I think to pop this Moab, I don't think Elks are going to cover it. I don't think Crossbows are going to cover it. I think I need to go for my Transforming Tonic. So we got to get to saving here. And that's going to be rough when Gerald is doing most of the popping power right now. All right, things are actually going reasonably smooth, I guess. Uh, my Crossbows are keeping up. So that's that's cool, actually. Cam detection wise, not quite as good off, but good enough, I suppose. And I gotta I gotta unfortunately just keep up with the crossbows, and I think I gotta keep up with a similar positioning to what I've been doing here. Uh, again, not ideal, but it's popping. So if it works, it works. Uh, we got decently straight lines here. Boom, boom. You always want to shoot these guys down straight lines. And then unfortunately, my cleanup is kind of my weak point here. I really am relying on a single crossbow and a random unstable concoction in the back. And Transforming Tonico will change the game in our favor for Moabs, but uh, not necessarily for big chunks of balloons. Oh gosh, leads. Oh gosh, balloons. Oh gosh, everything. Ooh, Road Spikes actually saved the day again. Ooh, one set of Road Spikes. That's actually a really, a really reasonable thing to, to, to buy. Um, ooh, we got Jerry's Fire already. Holy crap, so Jerry's Fire is possibly one of the best things about Geraldo in, in itself. I mean, he's just absolutely dominant in pretty much every way with this thing. So I'm going to put Elk, uh, let's put Elk over here. I want to leave a little bit of room. Here, yeah, let's see, can I build one more? Not yet. Um, you know, I'm going to throw another one down here for now. I want to leave that room open just in case I can get another crossbow down here to be, like, decently okay as well. Because it's not bad. It's been an okay position. All right, here we go. Round 40. So... Without this guy, I don't see how we're doing it. Uh, Geraldo's Jerry's Fire, even that might be strugglicious. But uh, the unfortunate thing about this thing is even though I'd really like to get it because it is so good, it's actually not the best play for us. Every time we have to spend money, uh, we're wasting our money. We're, we're literally wasting it. We're only getting those few rounds beaten when I want to beat the late game rounds. i got to save up my money, buy as many of these guys as I possibly can to make sure that that's worthwhile. So cam protection wise, are we still good against these guys? Um, good enough, but barely. Good enough, but barely. So I need to get another elk going kind of stat here and uh, see if uh, I can kind of keep up with everything, I guess. Right, there's a very, very tiny window here of opportunity, and it might be good enough. Oh, yeah, look at that. Tiny window of deliciousness. All right, that feels pretty good. Uh, it's going to lead us to our second transforming tonic. Now, cross paths for these guys actually do matter, and I believe that this is going to be the more beneficial uh, cross path for us. So we're going to go faster firing and acid pool. A little bit of damage kind of on the screen here. Um, and also increase the power of our transforming tonic itself. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, road spikes! Hey! They saved the day again. All right. Oh, okay, my blutes. All right, so... We're going to have to, again, go Geraldo. I'm going to have to camo potion him. I'm going to use another one of these things, and I think I'm going to throw it uh, right about here again. Not ideal, but also not horrible. Again, it's just like you have to put him somewhere, dude. It's just got to be what it's got to be for now. All right, so let's uh, elk through the beginning here. Pop in the camos with this uh, Geraldo stuff. And then, unfortunately, I think for around 51, I'm going to need to get a little bit of Jerry's Fire in here. Probably just one Jerry's Fire should be good enough for around 51. But he is going to have to be our bulk camo popping power for almost the entirety of the game. Um, I'm talking all the way through round 90, 93, 95, 99, all the DDT rounds. Got to be a full camo destructor. Um, so we'll see how that kind of plays out. But so far, it's going good enough. Just unleashed three transforming tonics. Uh, that means we can basically have a non-stop transforming tonic kind of all the time here. 
Uh, so we're probably going to start doing that. But I do have to think about my Jerry's fires. So we've got to put it on Geraldo or one of his youth, uh, one of his things. Uh, otherwise, we don't get camera detection on it. So we can use it on these uh, random crossbows wherever we end up putting them. Or we can put them on Geraldo himself. But one Jerry's fire, you can see the damage it's doing. $650 for a ridiculous amount of extra camo popping power is exactly what we need right now. Uh, but again, don't forget that it's only going to last 10 rounds. So after that, yeah, got to be careful. All right, so now we have a ton of extra mode pop power, though, which is delicious. And I actually feel like we're going to start to glide through this game for a while. The real question is, can we can we go deep? Uh, so we do want to spend more money on Geraldo, unfortunately. We're going to have to buy more bunnies. Uh, once we get three bunnies, I think we'll actually be doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm going to still keep on buying these crossbows. They are going to be part of our cam detection, so got to keep that in mind. Got another big cam around here. It's looking okay, though. Crossbows are doing a pretty good job. Jerry's Fire is cleaning up here. Uh, the, the kind of awesome thing about all this, though, is we're about to get our rabbit. And uh, he is a ridiculous amount of balloon popping power, but also going to be a ton of extra cam detection for us. Um, and I also believe that he is going to give us that camo lead popping power easily um, for DDDs and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, gosh, though. Every single round can be a killer. All right, so we got some Rejuve potion action coming up for Geraldo. Now, don't forget that this thing it does give you... Uh, uh, lives, but that doesn't work on chimps mode. But what it can do is we can rejuve some of our abilities if we want to. Now, obviously, I don't want to do that right now. Oh, gosh. We ran out of camera detection at the worst time! Actually, this is not going to be enough. Alright, so we're going to have to do that a smidge better. We're going to give Geraldo camera detection. I'm going to also just use the uh, Jerry's Fire on him, because I think we're going to need it for round 60 anyways. And uh, I guess I could use one of these things. Why not? And then that should be hopefully enough here. It's going to be a little close, but the fire does follow through, and that should get us to bunny territory. Oh, no, not yet. We need one more round. Okay, so we're going to have to use at least two of these things. Yeah, let's let's make sure we go for the bottom pass on these things to get the extra damage. And then, actually, one. One is good. Nice. All right, last rabbit, I think. Boom! We got the super rabbit now. Now, this is a big change in popping power i mean it's a it's a decent investment don't get me wrong we're talking about like six rand or seven rand or something like that but it already feels like it's paying for itself right now let alone what it does for the rest of the game uh but again every single dollar we spend on geraldo here we are taking away from buying elks later so just gotta kind of keep that in mind but the basic plan is just to spam transforming tonics i don't think i'm gonna do much else beyond that uh so i will keep on buying geraldo things uh, try to spend the least amount possible on those Geraldo things. Ooh, wow, 63 went down easy from the bunny, I guess. Wow, that is ridiculously awesome. All right, let's just uh, start spamming, I guess. So uh, position-wise, again, there's no perfect position here. There, there's just, there's no magic. Oh, my gosh. No magic answer. Uh, you, you just got to throw them down and hope that they're going to be close enough to, to popping things. It seems like this area is pretty good. Pretty good hitting most of the area because the game is like kind of 3d so like when you put them up a little uh higher on the side here um the range just sort of reaches over into the balloons almost when you put them down low the range like stays lower if that makes sense because it's 3d either which way uh we're gonna go for a quick transforming tonic again with the bottom path and another transforming tonic again with the bottom path and now we've just got a giant acid death pool right in the middle of the map that looks kind of cool not gonna lie uh, the major weakness for us still going to be cam detection. Uh, you only get one of these potions every, like, ten rounds or so. So, if you are not um, staying active with that thing and using it just on Geraldo right when you need it, life could get pretty rough. Um, we might have to plan ahead a little bit for, like, round 78 and make sure... Oh, crap, I didn't use my ability again. Oh, my God. Every round, dude. Every round can get you. And when I say every round can get you, I truly mean that I suck. <laughs> you know, I don't want to I I beat around the bush here. I, I've been sucking it up on using my abilities properly. I just keep thinking Geraldo and his Jerry's Fire is just going to, like, be good enough. And it's just not. Uh, I've got to keep up having at least one Transforming Tonic active pretty much all the time. So, uh, thinking about other things while trying to do that, nah, not a good idea. Round 75! A nice tough round for us, but we are doing well. Uh, now we do have to pay attention to Geraldo's level at this point. Uh, when he gets close to level 20, we have to make sure that we are using and utilizing every single bit of his, uh, uh items. And making sure that we spend our money on them if we need to. I don't want to waste money on them, but uh, I, the, the unfortunate thing is I can't control this level. It is going to go up, 
it's going to reach level 20. And when he reaches level 20, the entirety of the shop here just gets refreshed and everything is here. So what you want to do is you usually want to spend your money on every single little bit of, bitty thing that you can to kind of get those bonuses going. Um, now, I have the ability to spend our money on other things, so I still, just don't want to waste my money. Just throw it out into the wilderness. Just throw it into the forest or something like that. Bury it. Don't want to do that. Uh, but I do want to make sure that I utilize everything that I'm going to need long term. For example, if we get this on round 85, I mean, this camo potion is going to last that full 15 rounds. So we got to think about that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. All right. Again, another tough round for us. Round 78. One elk is not enough here. Let's do a uh, triple. Did I do double or triple? Either way, I'm happy. And. Oh, I did a triple. I definitely, definitely did a triple there. Those uh, abilities probably will come back in time. Hopefully. For the, the next. Oh, crap. Geraldo. Does Meltron work uh, as camo? I don't think so. Oh, crap. All right, let's try. Let's just see what happens. So, Geraldo has to do all the camo popping power here for this entirety of this ceramic rush. We could get lucky. Bunny could majestically pop them all. We could see if this Maelstrom is going to work, but I don't remember if it gives us camo popping power. It does! Woo! Easily worth. Easily worth. We could have swapped off with a bunch of Jerry's Fires, but I don't think that's the right option. Oh, we got seven of these things available at this point. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to keep on building them in the front here. Just seems like a nice place to build them. Nice-ish place to build them. Here we go. We got round 80 popping out. Uh, Geraldo's level 16 only, so he's leveling up and leveling up reasonably slow. Uh, we can kind of go a little hard on this thing. I think we can go triple, triple elks. Uh, we'll only get two elks out of it, because this guy's up at the front, but good enough for us. And he gets to go into round 81. Nice. All right, so everybody is working together still. Great. No complaints, no issues. Um, I'm gonna... Does it say how long it lasts? I'm pretty sure this lasts 15 rounds, but I don't remember. I'm gonna double check real quick. I think my best bet's still just waiting it out. Uh, oh, crap. Let's go double dose in here. Um, again, I don't want to go crazy with this stuff, but round 90 is kind of like our, we can go all in. Spend all of your money on Geraldo. It's totally worth it. Uh, and we can still buy more Elks, believe it or not. It's kind of a one-sided strategy. Just full-on transforming tonics, but it, it kind of just works. They are very, very powerful if you're willing to press that ability every single time. Which is a big if. <laughs> Alright, 82 reinforced BFB. Still no problem for us. Taking them down. Geraldo's reached level 17 at this point. I'm still not going to do anything crazy. Uh, you know, let's do this. Let's build one of these guys in the back. Alright, it's not a crazy amount of money, but it could end up saving us, oddly, on a weird round. But if I... <laughs> I'm going to be kind of bad when I, when I waste this thing. I can easily defend with my abilities. I'm just an idiot, and I don't press the abilities in time. And then this thing gets wasted. Uh, if I can, I'll restart, but I don't always get to see that in time. All right, more elk abilities ready to go. We can kind of leave like two, three, or maybe even four activated all at the same time. Uh, and still get them back in time. Oh, crap, I bought the wrong upgrade. Oh! I'm going to restart. Oh, that was a close one, guys. That was a close one. I mean, could you imagine if I wasted just... $2,000, and then I needed like $2,000 to make a play happen on round 98, and I lost because of it? I mean, I, that would be me, though. That would be exactly me. I would just say, screw it. Ah, we're good. No problem. We don't have to worry. And then, I, then I'd worry hardcore. Because I would not be replaying this, man. Geraldo, I would call it Dunzo at that point. Alright, here we go. We got a nice... I don't even know how I managed to do that, but I, I kind of like thought, yeah, let's make that one activate. I just press the button and activate it. Alright, we got uh, Zuma Gods. Mm going pretty well. $10,000 saved up. Geraldo, level 17. Still going great. I'd like to get a level 20 late in the game. Mid-90s would be perfect. 97 would be, like, ideal. Alright, keep it going. And this guy, we get to get him up. Transforming Tonic with Acid Pool. Is that everybody now? Is that everybody? Holy crap, that's everybody. And I think I need to just go bigger. Unfortunately, I can't really get Geraldo to, to get buffed at all. That's the kind of sad thing about it. Um, I can't use my top path, uh, elk like we did with Quincy or anything. It's just not worth it. Uh, 88. Yeah, I guess we'll buy one more of these guys, but I don't even know how much help this is, think, this thing's gonna be at this point. Alright, a couple more Zermagurds. They're getting blown up pretty nicely, too. This is a nice place to blow things up. 
didn't realize how useful that uh, the third tier actually is compared to the uh, the fourth tier edition. Okay, level 19, we do not want to level up here. Again, I cannot math it out perfectly. I don't know exactly how much experience I'm going to get, but I'm going to assume that it's going to be less than halfway. Uh, if it's even close to halfway here for the next round, okay, good. We're going to be safe for round 90, but for round 91, I will not be. Now, I do need to get myself that cam detection. It gives me 15 rounds of cam detection, so if I want to, I can use it twice. And I can only use it on one of my transforming tonics, though. That's the hard part. So what the heck do we do? Well, to start ourselves off, uh, we could do a genie play. Uh, we're going to get him back in in two rounds anyways, so I think it's the easy answer. We do uh, a single genie. It, it seems unfortunate, but by the time we get to round 93, we're going to get them back anyways, right? Now, in addition to that, I don't want to use my Jerry's Fires on round 90 because I believe that it counts as a round, and I won't have it for the bad balloon. So instead, I'm going to wait until round 91, uh, use all of them, and then spam them. All right, so let's see if one genie is going to be enough here to do uh, to pop it. I don't know. I think he's got automatic cam detection, but is he enough just without the camo potion? I guess it doesn't really matter. I should have just done it anyways, but there we go. We do that. We're going to get three Jerry's Fires. We're going to use the Jerry Fires uh, here. One, two, and three. I'm going to get my turret up. I'm unfortunately going to... I think I have to use my second genie here. Is that even worth it? 91? I mean, it's only going to last... I don't know, we might not level up. That's the crazy thing about it. I think we're going to, but we might not level up. I think it's worth it to try out the Sharpening Stones, though. One, two, and three. I will throw these things down here. One and two. And, uh, oh, I screwed up. This is seriously so much stuff going on. I'm just going to do this without pressing go yet. So, uh, we're going to do a one, two, and... I don't want to put it on Genie, but I want to put it on this guy. And I'm going to sharpen these puppies up front. Again, not really sure how much this is going to help, but uh, we're going to throw a glue down here. I don't want to th throw out everything. Uh, I'll do one Maelstrom extra. I'll just double dose them, too. So if one pops, the other one's going to pop. And we can start with some Elks already. Uh, and then it's just worth it to build our Camo Potions at this point, if, just in case we can start to rebuild to a new Camo Potion. So the unfortunate thing, though, is that I cannot decide how and when to build my other camo potion, because I don't know who's going to be ready to go. Oh, crap! Here it is! Alright, so... Nowadays, we do three more of these guys. So there's one more of him. Let's do one more there. Let's make sure we're activating pretty much everything at this point. One more over there. We got four more shooty turrets, and I think we unfortunately have to put them kind of in a goofy-ish spot, just kind of near this elk over here. There's three and four... And when we get it, we can use those serious fires again, and we're just going to sharpen stone. So this is actually not horrible. Now that we have big blooms going on right here, this is not bad. Okay, so now we have probably three total genies to beat all the DDTs, which is probably the biggest issue for us overall. Uh, we do have two camo potions, though. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, dang. Oh, dang! Oh, no! We gotta restart. Okay, so for the DDTs, what I'm gonna do is this one is ready to go. I'm gonna go for one camo potion on this guy in particular. Um, I do have the ability to get a DDT popper genie if I need to, but again, that's not fun to have to deal with that. So we're gonna hope that this guy is magically gonna be good enough to help us pop these DDTs in addition to all the fire that's going on right now. And it looks like it is magically enough. Woo! All right. So that was a feisty battle, but keeping two genies is always good. And we get another Jerry's Fire ready to go, and I'm going to build it. I guess right here is good. All right, so we're going to just blast everything. Every single ability we got here, we're blowing them. Round 94, it's a tough round. I mean, we got a big, big break for round 95. So um, the unfortunate thing is I 100% am going to need to use a genie. I don't see how we could possibly not use a genie and survive. Just to be completely honest. But don't forget, this guy does have the ability to hit things. Uh, I guess we can give it again to one more of these guys. So let's do... Uh, he's going to have 11 rounds. So yeah, we can do it on another uh, alchemist here. And then we do have the camera detection here. So we're going to go for uh, a triple Maelstrom, possibly in the middle of the map, just to try to save those genies. So let's just go all in. We're going to go for uh, Maelstrom. Or do we not even need it? We're actually surviving against the DDTs. Uh, but the Elks are probably going to wear off pretty soon. 
Um, it's still going. Around 95 is kind of unbelievable right now. And we take down all the DDTs. <laughs> Holy crap, saving two genies. That's good news. That's really good news. Now, if we could just survive until round 98 without using many genies, we're going to be totally fine. Um, but I did blow a lot of my load on round 95, admittedly. Like, a lot of my load. A big, big chunk of my load here. We got another uh, fire here. We can use it on this elk this time because he's camo uh, a fide. And I want to take this one a little bit slower. Uh, I don't want to blow everything. I'll blow most of it, because I think we're going to get it back before these uh, reinforced my gods make it to us anyways. Uh, looks like i got to blow in more than I wanted to. And no, the maelstroms. <laughs> They're gone. <sighs> I should have restarted, but I didn't. Wait, I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. All right, got to spend this up. Why am I not spending this money right now? I have no idea. Uh... First of all, definitely use this guy if he's got it. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Come on. Oh, he doesn't have his ability. Okay, okay, okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Not yet, at least. I'm going to go uh, with as many as I can right now. We got a lot of attacks going on. If I build a genie right now, it'll survive for around 97 and 98. But if I build it on 98, it'll survive for 99 as well, which is unbelievably important for us. So we're going to do it. We go for a genie on 98. I don't necessarily need to use the other one, though. But I can get uh, one more of these guys with a uh, fire on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And uh, we'll sharpen it. Why not? Oh, so we got seven of these puppies ready to go right now. Uh, and I think I gotta save my money. You know what? This is a perfect time for a Maelstrom. Like, if you're gonna use it, this is the time to use it, dude. All right, we got Zoma Gods, BFEs, and everything all on top of each other. We got a lot of Elks ready to go. I want to try to not use this Elk if, if at all possible. Woo! Hot diggity dog. All right, round 98 is a tricky one. We got a Moab glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to slow down the Zoma Gods. All right, I don't know if that worked out perfectly, but ideally, I pop all the BFEs. Or I slowly pop the Zoma Gods. Um... I don't know. I have no freaking idea what just happened there, but uh, let's just let's blow most of our load here kind of early because if we can, we can get some of these abilities back for... Oh, I, yeah, I built one genie already. Dang. The genie's not even helping as much as I thought he would. Oh my god, we got Bloom sneaking to the very back already. Genie still kind of hanging on. 98 will indeed go down, but I don't have very many elks left for round 99. Oh, yep, they all just came back. Let's blow most of their loads. Let's get this second genie going. Now I got two genies for round 99, and I will have at least one genie for round 100. Is it going to be enough, though? Two genies. It's got to be, dude. Round 100 now. The last chance to beat the elk only. <laughs> the unbelievably elk only advanced map strategy. Uh, we're not going to get this guy in time, but we should get mostly everybody else up in time. Now, by the way, if you guys have not pressed that like button yet, please do so. If you have not subscribed yet, please do that. If you have not used my creator support code, please do that. This is an unbelievable feat of BTD6 prowess. It's not over yet, though. Uh, we got another Jerry's Fire. Just throw it down. I can rejuvenate and use all of my abilities again. Oh! And then strom them. Strom them and glue them and spike them and use it again and then rejuve them for even more destructive power. And we've done it. Geraldo gets 804,000 pops, which kind of shows you that it, it kind of sucks that we had to use Geraldo as our hero. But uh, uh, it was not him just soloing. It really was a, a concerted effort from everybody. That's awesome. I had a great time. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. And uh, have a super duper delicious day.